So did DJI just release the GoPro Killer? I'm gonna take a look at the Action 4 and pair it up with the Hero 11 and see if that bigger sensor makes it better. Mr. Black. By the way, welcome to the channel. My name is Danny Black. I love to share with you cool gear that comes my way. If you're new here, don't be a stranger and I'll put links to everything down in the description. You can just find it right down there easily. Plus a surprise link. And yes, the Action 4 might look a lot like the Action 3. However, the same could be said about the Hero 9, 10, and 11. But just like those GoPros on the outside, they might look the same. On the inside, there are some major differences. But it's not just about picture quality. I mean, I guess, yeah, it really is. But there's a lot more to what makes a good action camera. And you know what? Let's just put a pin in that word action camera because more and more people are using these for vlogging and traveling more than just action adventure. But you know what? Let's just go ahead and compare these two. Ready? Go! But starting with the sensor size, Action 4 has a new and improved 1 over 1.3 inch sensor. And the Hero 11 has a 1 over 1.9 inch sensor. And if you aren't good at math and fractions, 1 over 1.3 is actually closer to 1 inch, and 1 over 1.9 is actually closer to a half of an inch. The Action 4 has a higher dynamic range by 0.5 stops, and a better signal to noise ratio in low light by one stop. And here is both cameras side by side in low light, just casually walking around in this studio. This is indoors. Action cameras don't usually look good indoors, but you will notice a big difference with the stabilization on with both of them, same 4K 30 frames per second. And if we take them outside, yeah, you can see a huge difference with the Action 4 and that bigger sensor. It just looks fantastic. The Action 4 has a color temperature sensor cleverly located in the O on the logo, and that gives it more accurate colors and underwater color correction. The Action 4 and the Hero 11 both have 10-bit color depth, and that color looks really good, but one thing you should probably note is that with the Action 4, when you put on that 10-bit color, it's putting it in D-Log, so when you're shooting it in Cine or D-Log like that, it gives you the ability to go in later and color grade it and access all of those colors, over a billion to be exact. And that's kind of the problem with the Hero 11 is that when you put it in 10-bit color, it actually puts the color in there for you and you can't go over and color grade it properly. The Action 4 gives a wider field of view at 155 degrees, which is bigger than Hero 11's 148 degrees. But I will say with that ultra wide field of view on the Action 4, it shows you so much, but at the same time, it doesn't give you that crazy warp effect, crazy distortion to your picture. Like when you're using Hyperview on your GoPro, but with that same field of view on here, you don't get that distortion. And one thing that I was struggling with when I was using the Action 3 is that the image quality looked okay. Definitely not as good as the Hero 11, but now with that bigger sensor and better image quality, the Action 4 picture looks even better than the 11 in my opinion. However, one thing you do notice when you're looking at the buildings is how much more warp the GoPro has. So that de-warp really fixed those buildings and makes them a lot straighter compared to the GoPro. Like, that's crazy. Now, with the Hero 11, I do actually like that full frame eight by seven aspect ratio, especially for me, someone that likes to go back and edit. If I'm showing too much sky or too much ground, I can actually go in and crop that in and make that just exactly how I want it. Another plus for the Hero 11 is it can shoot up to 5K, 60 frames per second. So if we compare that side by side to the Action 4 at 4K, 60 frames per second and we scale it in 400%. Well, I mean, you can see that they both look pretty good when they're zoomed in, when they're cropped in. And also let's just compare the microphones. All right, so this is just a test so you can hear the difference between the Action 4 built-in microphones. And if we go over to the Hero 11, this is what the Hero 11 onboard mic sound like. This is without any wind slayers or anything. Uh, this is just onboard mics. And uh, yeah, so this is what they sound like. Here's the difference. Uh, this is how the DJI mics sound uh, straight off of it and going pretty fast with some wind. And also, this is how the Hero 11 mics sound with some wind going into it. We'll turn it around the other way too. So you can hear me talking from the back. This is what the Action 4 sounds like from the back here. And this is what the GoPro Hero 11 sounds like from the back. I think the Action 4 does a better job picking up my voice and making it a little bit more clear. But something I really want to point out, and I mentioned this on my previous Action 4 video and all the specs that you could see on it. If you haven't seen that, you can check that out up there. But you can actually plug in USB microphones into this, like your DJI wireless microphones. And with the GoPro, you have to get a media mod and then you have to like connect the eighth inch thing in here. It's like kind of hard to find. It's 
really not the best accessory I've ever seen GoPro make, that's for sure. They both have touch screens on the back and front viewing screens. So if you're vlogging, you can see your shot, but the DJI has a touch screen on the front. Maybe if it's set against the wall and you can't reach the screen, you can actually adjust it right there from the front. And I also do find that DJI's interface, their menu system, and the touch is just so much more pleasant to use than GoPros. I actually prefer the custom modes on the Action 4 better than I do on the Hero 11. I mean, you can save different presets, you get all your settings set, and then you can press this little button right here, and you can actually create a custom preset for it. And then you can access those right there on the front menu just that quickly, versus with GoPro, you know, you have to go through and create those custom presets, and it just kind of takes a little bit of time. The Action 4 will work in colder temperatures, and hotter temperatures and it has a 4k 60 frames per second heat balance so it won't overheat so you'll either run out of battery or run out of storage before it will overheat unlike the hero 11. and speaking of the battery you actually get 160 minutes of recording time with the action 4 and respectively with the same settings on the hero 11 you only get about 120 minutes plus the action 4 has fast charging so it'll charge your battery up fully in 50 minutes versus two to three hours of charging on your hero 11. These cameras can both go underwater without any additional housing. However, the Action 4 can go down to 18 meters and the Hero 11 can only go down to 10 meters. Both cameras have quick start. However, the Action 4 will start up in 2.5 seconds and the Hero 11 will start up in three seconds. The Action 4 has that magnetic quick mounting system on the bottom. So it's just that quick to set up and also take this off and put this on other mounts really quickly. And you know, with the GoPro, they have their uh, mount right there. Carefully line it up there, screw it in, get your shot, unscrew it, take it out, put it in your <laughs> Action 4 has the Mimo app, which you can do a lot more with, including previewing your shot while the video is recording. And you can also do some really cool stuff like invisible selfie stick mode. And yeah, that's really cool. So uh, stay tuned to the channel because I have a video coming out showing you how to do that. And guess what? It's actually cheaper too, depending on whenever you're watching this. But I'll put the links to both of them down in the description so you can check them out and see what their current price is. And also one big thing that I wanna say to clear the air is that I'm not really trying to say that the Hero 11 sucks because this was the best camera out there. It's just now this Action 4 is better. If you are looking to get an action camera right now, I would recommend this to anyone asking me. I would say that this is the one to get. But there you have it. I know you're going, Danny Black, he's the GoPro fanboy and uh, he's gonna be switching to the dark side. He's switching over to DJI. I, at the moment, yeah, I am. And I'll be pumping out a lot more content, showing you how cool this thing is and show you more things that you can do with this. And stay tuned to the channel because you know a lot more products are coming out and I can't wait to share it with you. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Oh,